Hey everybody, I really had to come out and share this as led by the Lord. At 5 o'clock this morning, as I had been in and out all night having just little crazy little dreams um, and some praying that I was doing very deeply, I heard the words from the Lord say, remember 9-11. And my spirit just like I was already shaking and crying and the Lord is speaking to me I'm like okay I'm like yes Lord everybody went back to church after 9-11 and everybody has many people have fallen away since and many things went away so we know that there's been much chaos right in this whole world and distractions will make you lose traction so I had seen you know this and absolutely wanting to sleep and Lord make me get up and get this and do this right now I know you've already probably seen the clip already but I'll share it with you because what had happened is like I said I went to a channel that led me to a man who had a, has a testimony that can very much define exactly what I just know in my spirit and I do believe right now we're about to go home you all know that I'm on the Jesus train but I do believe that President Trump is being used by the Lord to bring in and to fulfill the book okay so let's go to Twitter. I want to thank Dr. Redford for disease control and prevention is issuing guidance for communities of faith. I want to thank Dr. Redfield and the CDC for their work on this matter and all the other work they've been doing over the past what now seems like a long period of time. Today I'm identifying houses of worship, churches, synagogue, and mosques as essential places that provide essential services. Some governors have deemed liquor stores and abortion clinics as essential, but have left out churches and other houses of worship. It's not right. So I'm correcting this injustice and calling houses of worship essential. I call upon governors to allow our churches and places of worship to open right now. If there's any question, they're going to have to call me, but they're not going to be successful in that call. These are places that hold our society together and keep our people united. The people are demanding to go to church and synagogue, go to their mosque. Many millions of Americans embrace worship as an essential part of life. The ministers, pastors, rabbis, imams, that other faith leaders will make sure that their congregations are safe as they gather and pray. I know them well. They love their congregations. They love their people. They don't want anything bad to happen to them or to anybody else. The governors need to do the right thing and allow these very important essential places of faith to open right now. Okay, if you go to the link in the description box, you'll understand what I'm saying here. Okay, when the 9-11 thing happened, all right, but this man's testimony, what he speaks about and what he says is, is I mean, he had this in 1998. Um, he couldn't have made it up. Even reading the Word of God and putting it together with all of this now that we're seeing, with carnalized and spiritualized and then sometimes you know we reach and 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 carnally mind things if that was even a word 
Um, you know, like I could think of all possibilities, like, you know, could this be like when the second wave happens, uh, by putting everybody together, because I know for a fact that, I think yesterday or the day before, there was a church in Texas, in the Houston area, um, that they made closed down because of the fact that there was a COVID case or something out of it. All right, so I thought that that was a little strange when the churches haven't really been open, but they've been limited, all right? Um, and of course, your mega churches have been closed. So we could think all kinds of things carnally, but God is in control of all things in heaven and on earth. He's got this. He's got it all. And from the beginning to the end, he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's my all in all. He's our healer. He's our, he's our everything. He's our provider. He's, he's amazing. You all know him. Does he know you? Do you know him on a personal level? Have no, no unforgiveness in your heart towards anybody right now. Not that it has anything to do with your salvation. Let's get over the salvation issues, okay? We know how we are saved by grace through faith. None of ourselves are works. least any man boasts. It is a gift. All right, but let's get past that. And we know that we need this because of the fact that they know, uh, they, the people out in the world, know us by our love. And how can we love them if we have any unforgiveness, bitterness, or anger in our hearts towards any of them? And this is our, probably our last ditch to be able to help wake them up and share the word with them. When we feel we have no words, the Holy Spirit will speak for you. In Jesus' name, I'm probably leaving some things out. But this is Debbie from Texas saying, peace out, Maranatha. Let's keep looking up. The king surely is coming.